Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Jillo Lantern. I am the Outback Al. I'm Yun and Young. I'm Chibi New. I'm Envy Jitters. I'm Jared Cosplay. And I'm Cozy. And we really got to get back to, to camp so that you can be somebody. <laughs> um, yeah, me too. Yeah, you too. I mean, everyone's starting to get characters and we we're kind of stuck here. Oh, God. Let's see here. Yeah, pop, they popped their top and now we got to get back into the argument. Yeah. She still continued to seethe and smolder for a while, though. Are you done? that witch save the fireworks she already beat you there too what check the last sentence she's not to bother me for any reason and is not to come within sight or hearing of me until the time she's to receive payment you can't even get within eyesight of her without violating the terms of your contract Then I'll just wait until it's time to collect. Well, for your sake, I hope you're fast on the draw. What? When we went to the witch's cave, her spellbook was already open to the lightning bolt spell I tried to hit you with earlier. So? Think about it. She was already preparing a spell designed to destroy you, and she'd already made sure you couldn't come after her until the exact time she decided. The moment you show up for your reward, you're getting a lightning bolt to that hollow head of yours. <sighs> she even took care of your little teleportation trick by specifying that you had to appear before her. Face it, she has you by the balls, and you didn't even know you had your pants down. Ah, give me that. What's your name, human? Soy Dora. Vivian. Vivian Victoria Finalia. Uh, how do you spell that exactly? So that's how you came to team up with a de- How to team me up uh, with a demon. <laughs> Teme? Get temed with Teme. a demon. Oi. Yep, all it took was a little bit of deductive logic and creative thinking on my part. Those are traits which are remarkably difficult to come by in demon kind. I'm sure she saw you as a powerful ally again. Who the fuck are- You know, am I fucking Constantine? I think we're- I think we're talking to the book. Oh my god, am I- Could we be the book? That is a possibility, isn't it? Or not, I don't know. I should she probably be speaking German if I'm the book. <laughs> you need a- What is that, old German? Not new German. I don't know how to speak old German, <laughs> so I just do this German. <laughs> Though, at the time, I just wanted that power directed somewhere other than me or the people I cared about. Card about, I'm sorry. Here, how's this? The problematic contract she had written for me before had been scribbled out. Beneath it was a single hastily written sentence. I, Vivian Victoria Finala, will help Jill the demon get the magic spell book from the Witch of Shish Kebab Lake, and Jill will make sure I live. Well. Concise, specific, and mutually beneficial. Okay, Jill, hand me the pen. Oh I scratched out a quick signature beneath the single sentence and handed it back to her. Jill gave it a quick glance, nodded, then slipped the quill pen and contract back into her jumpsuit. Alright, let's get this witch hunt started. That's... no, just no. Chapter complete. Wow. We really need to stop stopping right before the chapter is done. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, they are kind of coming down into the blocks that our, uh, that our episodes are, so yeah, we'll just wait for another chapter complete thing. 
watch this one. So now, an hour long. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, watch. So now that you two were acquainted, I trust you went after the witch. That was what I was expecting to do. But I was about to find out nothing ever goes as expected once Jill is involved. CSI Shish Kebab. All right, let's get going. Agreed. The sooner we get this over with, the better I'll feel. Right. Wait, will that break the time loop, though? Well... Uh, I was kind of hoping you knew where we were going. We... We're going to the witch's cave, right? So we can get you the book and stop all of this? Oh yeah, the cave! That's where you got the book last time, right? Yeah. Did you seriously have no plan for how to get the book back? Okay, to the cave. Right. Um, do you think you could lead the way? Huh? I don't know how to get there. What? I followed you over there last time. Well, aren't you supposed to appear before or something at midnight? Shouldn't you at least know where you're supposed to be- Supposed to appear? And where to avoid. Yeah, but that's part of the contract's magic, not mine. It'll just bring me there when it's time. I have no idea where it is. I don't really know where anything is, actually. This physical world is so confusing to navigate. Well, how did you find me? Oh, that was easy. I just walked straight out from the cave till I found the lake. Then I walked around it till I heard your party and saw you sneaking off into the woods. Heard the party? Shouldn't you have seen it from the lake shore? Well, if you hadn't noticed, my face is kind of easy to spot in the dark. I had to close my eyes and keep my mouth shut so I could preserve the element of surprise. Hang on. You walked around the entire lake with your eyes closed? How did you not fall in or veer off and walk into a tree? I did. Why do you think it took me so long to get over here? <laughs> okay. How was I ever afraid of this hollow head? So how did you find the cave? Well, I was led over there by one of the football players. The dude you... The dude you barbecued? No, another guy. Here. Didn't make it out of the cave. The witch stabbed him with some weird knife and he melted. That was fun. Yeesh. I guess getting fried by lightning isn't the worst thing that book can do to you. Okay, then let's go find Meltman and have <clears throat> him take us there again. Meltman <laughs> with the power to melt. <laughs> Does anyone remember that one? Yes. Love that. It's Kenny, actually, and uh, I don't know if taking you back to the party with me is such a great idea. It's supposed to be a costume party, but your face is a little high-end looking to be a cheap mask. Is that how you spell cheap? Cheap, cheap. A cheap, cheap mask. Aw, thanks. I worked really hard on making this body. And what a body. But you may be right. I am a bit too good for what they have here. I'm already starting to regret signing that contract. I also technically, I'm also technically still under orders to kill every uh, to kill every interloper I see. 
so probably best not to put me in striking distance of too many people. That's wrong, wrong too. too. Wait, what? I thought you'd given up on the contract and taken mine instead. I can do both. Plus, breaking my original contract would mean I'd lose physical form and get sent back to my dimension with nothing to show for it. But you hid when Cindy and Joyce showed up just a little while ago. Candy. Well, if I tried to attack one of those two, you would have run away, and then I couldn't have made the contract with you. So, I can justify not killing them at that exact moment. That is some very lenient justification, but okay. I'm a very lenient demon. You're a very dumb demon. Oh, yes. but... That... <laughs> but if I come across an opportunity too good to pass up, I may have to take it. So, let's say, for instance, you saw a lone, drunken teenager wander into the woods to relieve himself. I would contractually... I would be contractually obligated to cut off his head so it landed in front of him and he peed on his own face before the body fell over. Damn, dude. <laughs> Lovely image, thank you. Gross. Okay, so I can't take you with me, but I can leave I can't leave you alone either. Oh, I know. Close your I, eyes again. I think this is that's you. Oh no, okay. Uh okay. Whee. Okay, open your eyes. She back to being just a little pumpkin. I'm attached to your leg. Demon? 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 I'm just trying to talk to the demons. Huh? Ta-da! Now you can carry me around with you. And since I don't have any arms, I can't be expected to kill anybody. Uh, don't you still have those creepy vines you used to bruise my ankle? Plus, you just sent a jet of flame like six feet into the air out of your head. We'll say I'm doing reconnaissance then. Now, stop giving me ideas. Didn't the contract specify kill with her own hands? Does that count for vines? Ah, hmm. um, technically not hands. So no. Fine. So as I long mean, as she, she doesn't, doesn't have see hands. them, she doesn't have to do anything. So why doesn't she just like turn her towards her body or half her close her eyes? Yeah, that's a possibility. Ugh. You know, you're a lot heavier than you look. Body shaming, Vivian? Really? Did so you just eat your own body or something? Oh, stop complaining, weakling. Now, hurry up, Cinderella. I don't want to be late for the ball. Hey, how do you know all these references if you're from another dimension? Earth makes some of the most entertaining media in any reality. It's about the only thing you humans are actually good at. Fair. Marvel movies. How many Marvel movies have you made? 29 and 14 more on the way. See, you love doing that. That's the whole reason we helped you humans invent computers and the internet. Hang on, I'll buy that the internet may have come from hell itself, but demons invented computers? Well, we helped plant some ideas here and there with varying degrees of success. Religions made things awfully touch and go there for a bit. Especially those European ones. That's one way of putting it, the Dark Ages. We're back, and every- and all the animation is weirdly <laughs> mixed. <laughs> okay, we're here. 
Now, keep quiet. Pumpkins aren't supposed to talk. I know that. Holy shit, that pumpkin talked! <laughs> I'll have you know, I got very high marks in Earth normality. Now watch as I blend in seamlessly with my surroundings. Look around the chameleon. The body is round. Noise, what is it? Some kind of poopit? A poopit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got it for my birthday. You know, because I'm super into Halloween and stuff. Given your costume, you could have fooled me. Oh, you got to go. You got the whole act going on too. Hey, you should totally do a show later once Kenny gets back with the hot dogs. Gets back? Yeah, it turns out we remember the bonds, but totally forgot to pick up anything to go in then. Although, I'm not usually against just having some nice bonds, if you know what I mean. You deserve the death that you're going to receive. Oh? Uh, nothing! Just practicing my spooky lines! <laughs> Any hey. idea when Kenny will be back? You know, that face is starting to give me Anya vibes. <laughs> it really is! Yeah! <laughs> it is! And that's a waka waka face. Yes. Shouldn't be long. He's just driving up to the old gas station a bit. The one five miles away? The rice, damn it. Ooh. He left the time bubble. Hey, I'm just gonna go over there and practice my act until Kenny gets back, okay? Cool. Hey, don't forget to grab a drink. Sure thing. The old gas station is way outside the spells barrier. What happens when someone tries to leave the barrier from the inside? <laughs> Bitch, we're about to find out. Short answer? We're not going to see Kenny until the start of the next loop. I was afraid of that. The time bubble you created works by making a small pocket dimension that's running at a much faster speed than the world outside. Anything that tries to leave the bubble passes through a kind of buffer zone. Buffer zone? What does that do? If the spell ends, then the buffer zone releases everything caught in it in exactly the same state as it was as it was in, as it was leaving. Do they know they're trapped? No. Anyone caught in it wouldn't even know anything had happened once they were free. But if the loop repeats, then the buffer empties anything inside it back into the spell area to be reset along with everything else. So, Kenny's trapped in limbo until the next loop. Pretty succinct. Yep. Is there any way to get him out of the barrier before then? We can't exactly afford to wait around twiddling our thumbs with this spell draining the life out of me. Not without drastically tampering with a spell that's holding our current reality together while we're still trapped in it. I'm gonna guess that's not a good idea. There are few worse. If Kenny is out of the picture, then that makes things harder for us. There has to be someone else who knows where to find the witch's cave. How are we going to find them? It's not like I can just go asking around. It's Why, Halloween. Not? Why not? Joy! Ew. Maybe you should be asking yourself why you're talking to a pumpkin instead of coming over to see me after you shit in the woods like I told you to. Joy! Isn't she? Joy, I, I'm sorry. I guess I got a little distracted. What a surprise. Damn. Did you at least take your meds tonight? Yes, I took them before we left. At least, I 
think I did? God, you are such a scatterbrain sometimes. Here, I brought some with me just in case. Take an extra one just to be sure. You've been acting really weird tonight. But Joy, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're talking to a pumpkin. People are going to start getting suspicious. Is that what you want? No, I... Of course not. Look, I know this isn't really your scene, but you have to learn how to be around normal people outside of school. And carrying around an ugly jack-o'-lantern is only vaguely considered normal if you're 10 years old. Huh? Oh, Jill is not happy. Nope. What? Hmm. Put that stupid looking thing down and go get a drink like a normal human being. That is Anya. <laughs> no! I feel ashamed of even talking to you right now. I. Okay, I'll. I'll find somewhere to put it. Throw it in the lake or something for all I care. Just hurry up, the thing gives me the creeps. Once it's gone, I need you to come right back here. Do you understand? You're gonna help me with a little long-term project I've been working on. Oh, she was gonna sacrifice us. What do you mean, long-term project? There's something I need your help with tonight, V. Something important that only you can help me with. Really? You need my help? I do. <laughs> but seriously, there's something not right about that pumpkin. Get it out of here. I don't want to look at it for another second. Uh, okay, I'll be right back, Joy. Oh, Vivian, there you are. Sorry, can't talk now. But it's about... Excuse me! What? Uh, hey. What? Damn it, Jill, don't do that! Did you seriously forget about me? No! It just... I get a little excited when Joy asks me to do something for her, that's all. I noticed. What's with those pills she gave you? Are you sick? You saw that? I'm not blind. I was literally in your arms, V. It was kind of hard to miss. Don't call me that. Only Joy is allowed to call me that. And those pills are none of your business. Mm-hmm. Now I'm totally sure this topic isn't going to come up again and be extremely relevant later on. Hey, the fourth wall jokes are our territory, lady. Ugh, not everything is a movie, demon. Uh-huh, sure. So, what do you want me to call you? Just Vivian is fine. Pronouns? Oh, let's consider it. Oh, uh, she, her, nothing fancy. Um, what about you? Jill works. And I'm feeling kind of in a she, her kind of mood, too, I guess. Oh, you're gender fluid? Hmm, more like gender plasma. Uh, I have no idea how to respond to that. You really shouldn't know how to respond to that. Spain well, at least they did it for us. <laughs> what was that? Well, the text said scream and splash. It's starting earlier than I thought. What is? It sounds like it came from the lake. Hurry, we have to see what happened. Uh, okay. Vivian? Vivian? Shoot, where did she go? I 
could hear a jill in my arms as I rushed towards the sound, using the light from her head like a flashlight in the gloom. Smart. There was another dock a little further south of the one Mark had picked for the campsite I had found. I had found last time, and I figured that was where the sound had come from. Sometimes I hate being right. <laughs> Good boy. What the? No! No, that's not possible! The evidence would indicate otherwise. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. But you were with me the whole time! I was holding you when we heard the scream! Couldn't have killed them! No shit, Sherlock. I didn't kill them last time, either. Was this whole thing nothing but Tucker and Dale versus evil? I know I keep bringing this up, like, every time we, got, we get back to the murder subplot, but... Th literally everyone just killed themselves tonight! <laughs> hmm. No, I think it was Joy. Oh. Wait, what? Hold on, are you telling me there's another killer out there? Well, technically, no. I can't read that. I can't read that Something either. Something kill had me had. Hang on. Yeah, no, idea. I. Oh. No, I Aha! never actually killed anybody. Oh. <laughs> that yeah, was smart. On. That was a good move. I'm like, you can only have a certain size text in the transcript. <laughs> what? Speak up, I can't hear you. I said I never actually killed anyone. This is Tucker and Dale. We gotta what? watch that movie now. And we're back to this again. Add it to the list. It's on there, man. Well, we gotta <laughs> watch it sometime. <laughs> Look, it wasn't for lack of trying. I fully intended to slaughter all of you. It'll be on the list for Summerween. Ooh, yay! yay. Sounds good. I even picked out a couple kills from the old Thursday. From the old Thursday the 12th series, I wanted to try to replicate. <laughs> the underrated spin-off. Wow. But every time I found a suitable target, they were already drowned, crushed, impaled, or otherwise dead. Actually, now that I think about it, you and your little troop of walking stereotypes are the only people I met who kept your lungs long enough to scream when you saw me. I... I can't believe it. If you weren't the killer, then who? Wait, that means whoever killed Joy is still out there. I have to get back in. Can we pull? Hold your horses, whoa. Romeo. Get your vines off me before I smash your head like an egg, demon! And people call me a hothead. No, we call you an empty head. Look, just calm down and listen to me, okay? I have to save Joy! Your pumpkin-hating bitch of a crush will be fine. Don't call her that! She said she wanted you to meet her back at the party, right? Yes. If the timeline is progressing the same as it did before, then she should be reasonably safe so long as she doesn't go back to the clearing where we found her body. You're right! As long as I can keep her away from that clearing, she'll be okay. What if it's Kenny? Well, she'll be less likely to die anyway. He's kind of like off somewhere where no one can confirm where he is right now. Mm, Who's to say that he's movie. trapped? Maybe. The only way to make sure she, and more importantly, you, stay alive is to find whoever is stealing my kills and then turn them inside out. Alright, you can let me go now. I'm sorry for, you know, threatening to smash you, I guess. Eh, it's okay. Not like you could really hurt me anyway. We can try to smash in a different way later. I'm a lot more durable than I look, you know. 
Well, keep that in mind. Yeet the pumpkin. They're a perfect weapon. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, wait. We're gonna... We're essentially gonna become the Headless Horseman. Yeah. But with a head. <laughs> Yee. Still, it's too bad we didn't get here in time to see who killed off these two. Guess you better find somewhere to stash me so you can head back to the party and find another lead on the witch's cave. Mm, I have a better idea. Oh? Are we analyzing? Mm. Investigation! Uh, where are we getting closer to the dead bodies? I was too focused on finding Joy last time to take a proper look at the crime scene. Honestly, you should take time in your life to find Joy. <laughs> but now that I'm a little calmer, I should be able to apply what I learned in the classroom and find some clues to our unknown slasher. Yes, all our lessons in old German will now come <laughs> to fruition. <laughs> Room. Wait, are you like a CSI in training? Not quite. I'm studying to be a forensic psychologist. Oh, so you're more like... Talonius Brains. Criminal Minds. Awesome. So this means you'll be able to reconstruct the perpetrator from the scene of the crime, right? No. That's not what that means. Ah, uh, well, that show tends to exaggerate what we can do. And I'm only a student. But I should be able to figure out something. Awesome. What can I do to help? Just give me some light and let me know if you see anything that seems out of place. Please let us make a decision. This may not be my first dead body tonight, but I'm still... This is my first time doing a real investigation. Please let us do a real yeah. investigation. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, let's find some clues. Please, let's find some clues. Ooh, <laughs> find find clues. the clues. Oh my Ooh. god, so many options to pick from next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!